Hi, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to utilize Word's Editor Pane and its options. You can use the Editor Pane to check your documents for any spelling, grammatical, clarity, and conciseness errors. It is a contextual tab in that the labels and options within the pane will change depending on what error is detected. At this point, I'm going to switch over to my um, test document so I can walk you through using it. I want to start the error checking at the top of my document, so I'm going to hit Control Home, so it takes me to my top. Okay, from here we want to go to the Review tab, so I'm going to click Review, go to the Proofing group, and click Spelling and Grammar, and this will start the Editor pane. Once I click on it, it will open up the Editor pane on the right column of my document. It will also highlight the first word it found. If there were no errors in your document, a box would pop up in the middle of your screen indicating that. The first error it found was a spelling error. Now I'm going to go down the list of options available and explain each one of them to you. Spelling error was not found in the dictionary. It's going to give us the sentence it was found in, and we've got a speaker next to it. So if you wanted to hear the sentence, you could click on it and it would read the sentence to you. Below that, we have suggestions available of replacing the word. If I click on the drop down arrow next to the words, it will give us additional options. I could have it read the word aloud, I could have it spell out the word listed. I could tell it to change all, and what that would do is it would go through my document, and any time it found this error, the V-I-D-O-S, it would replace it with this word. The next option I have is adding it to my autocorrect. If I did that, any time I type this word incorrectly as the V-I-D-O-S, Word would autocorrect it with VIDES. And the, below that, are my autocorrect options. When I click on this, it would take me in and I could make any changes here I wanted to. If I go below my suggestions, I have ignore once. So if I want this word left the way it is right here, click ignore once, and it would ignore it this one instance. If it was spelled incorrectly like this elsewhere in the document, it would pop up while running the check. If I tell it ignore all, it will ignore V-I-D-O-S, throughout the document, or I can add it to the dictionary. Now keep in mind, if I add this word to the dictionary, it will not be detected as a potential error in the future as well. So if I open up other documents and I spell it this way, it will ignore them. Now, if I decided I didn't like any of the options and I wanted to change it to something else, I could come over here, click, and type what I wanted to. Once I do this, you'll notice it grays out everything within the editor, except for it gives me a resume button. So at this point, when I click resume, it's going to start it back up again. Okay, I'm gonna tell it to ignore once. Go to my next error, another spelling error. I'm going to choose this word, and it's going to move on. Now you'll notice my next spelling error is a duplicate word listed twice. So it shows it here, and it gives me the options. I don't see what I want there, so I'm going to come over here and click, delete this out, and tell it to resume. The next error it finds is punctuation. If I come over to the editor pane, it shows me punctuation conventions. If I click the drop down, it'll give me information about it. A comma before and or or could make this clearer, and then it gives me examples of it. Click the arrow and it'll shrink it back up. I again have the speaker so I could have it read the sentence to me. And then it has the suggestions and this is putting the comma after charts, which would be right before and. I can tell it to ignore it if I prefer not to do that. I can tell it also don't check for this issue anymore if I prefer to leave it the way it is. Or I can go into my options for punctuation conventions and make any changes I needed. I'm going to go ahead and accept this and move on. If we look down in my document, the next error is and then. It's a grammar error, possible word choice error. Click the drop down. Doesn't really give me any options there. I could have it read the sentence or I can go to my suggestions and then. Or I can tell it to ignore it. I'm going to go ahead and accept this and move on to my next one. My next one is conciseness. 
and it tells me more concise language would be clearer for your reader. And if I click the drop down, it'll give me examples of it. Again, I can click and have it read the sentence to me, or I can come to my suggestions. And what it's showing me is each and every. So I could tell it to use each or use every. Tell it every and move on. This is a clarity error. And it's telling me that it would read better if my advert placement was changed. I click my drop down, it's going to give me some examples of it. And again, from here, let's shrink that back up. I could have it read the sentence to me. I can use my use the suggestions that are available. And it shows me here that um, in my sentence, update automatically should be switched to automatically update. I could tell it to ignore it don't check for this issue, or I could come in and look at my clarity options as well. I'm going to go ahead and accept it. Once you're done, it's going to close the pane out and it's going to tell you spelling and grammar check is complete. Click OK and it takes you back to your document. And that is how you can utilize the editor pane. Remember, it's under the review tab, proofing group, and it's spelling and grammar. Once you click on it, if there are no issues, it'll tell you it's complete and nothing was found. So keep in mind, Word's Editor Pane does more than just spell check your document. It goes through and it checks for spelling errors, grammatical errors, clarity, and conciseness. So it can help tweak your document in many ways. If you have any questions about this video, please leave them in the comments below, or if you have any suggestions for additional videos, please let me know as well. Thank you.